Welcome to the channel. Thank you for checking out this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use mask and brushes in Lightroom to enhance your photos. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so I've imported this uh, photo into Lightroom, this picture of this Robin. It's looking fantastic already, but we're really going to enhance it in Lightroom to bring out the best in it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go to the develop tab at the top and we're going to start altering some of the basic settings just to get it to a good level before we add some mask and then some brushing techniques to really bring it out so let's go to our basic tab now the first thing to notice is in our histogram uh, the image is slightly underexposed we know this because most of our tones are to the left hand side of our histogram if they were to the right it'd be overexposed what you really want is them tones in the center of your histogram. So all I'm going to do is raise the exposure until them tones are roughly in the middle or the graph is central at the top there. And about 1.05 is perfect and the image is looking great already. So we slightly underexposed when we took the shot. It retained that detail, but now we can bring it out a little bit using Lightroom. Next, we go on to our highlight shadows and whites. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to lower the highlights, lowering some of them brighter areas to bring out some of the details again. So in this case, I'm going to lower it just till I feel it's about right. And it doesn't need much. That's the thing. Got to be very, very subtle here. I'm going to go to about minus 22 on our highlights. Now with our shadows, if I raise the shadows, it's going to brighten up all the darker areas. We're going to again increase that detail coming out of our, out of our photo exactly what we want and in this case I'm just going to raise it and just keep a look on the image and about plus 33 looks good to me now we move on to our whites and blacks and we can do the left shift trick here or shall I say the left shift trick here hold down left shift on your keyboard double click the slider and Lightroom automatically adjusts it for you to the correct level so we do that we double click in this case, plus 14. You can do that on the blacks as well. Hold down left shift on your keyboard and double click. And Lightroom automatically adjusts it for you to the correct level. Now, the thing here is Lightroom automatically adjusts it to the level that it thinks is correct. Now, I noticed as that blacks was raised that it's brightened up the dark areas and I don't really like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold down left alt on my keyboard and just bring them blacks down and just see where they're bringing out the dark areas in the image and it's, it's actually not much but about minus 12 looks good there in my opinion next we go down to the presence tab and we're just going to press Control plus on our keyboard to zoom in a little bit and get the robin centered by holding down the left mouse button and using your little hand to slide the canvas around now we're going to raise the texture you don't want to overdo this the texture is like all the finer details in our photo for example all the feathers here so it's really if we add texture it's going to bring out them details again uh, in the feathers so i'm just going to raise it until i'm happy with it now the important thing here like i said is not to overdo it most people just slap it all the way up to 100 and it starts to look a little bit artificial and unnatural so all you're going to do is raise it until you're just starting to bring them details out plus 20 is great clarity is the more larger details in our image what it does is it adds a little bit of contrast to increase the clarity so i'm just going to raise it again to plus 20 and that looks absolutely perfect now the dehaze if we lower it one way it adds haze to our image and if we raise it it removes the haze from our image double clicking resets it so i'm just going to add a little bit of dehaze i don't want to go too much here about plus 10 looks absolutely fine and that's the basic tab done i don't want to touch vibrance or saturation at the minute because we're now we're going to go on to the masking and using the brush to affect the colors so let's do that right now so next you come up here to the top to this little tool here the masking tool we're going to click that and in the new Lightroom, we get all these new options. We get subject, sky, background, etc. I'm just going to click on the subject. And I'm going to let Lightroom automatically adjust and try and find that subject for us. Now, as you can see, it's highlighted our Robin in red, meaning that it's selected it perfectly. 
and that's what's so good about the new Lightroom. It's absolutely fantastic for finding automatically uh, your subject. Now I'm just going to press Control minus to zoom out, just to double check that it has actually selected just a robin, and it has. That looks awesome. So now we're going to invert this mask by coming up here and to the masking panel. I'm going to right click and click Invert Mask One. And as you can see, it's now inverted, so everything but our robin is selected. And what that's going to allow us to do is adjust the background without adjusting our robin. Now, the one thing that I do want to keep, though, is this plinth, this stone plinth here that the robin's sitting on. I want to keep that unaffected. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back up to this small little panel here again. Click minus, and it says some subtract from mask. We're going to click brush like so. We're just going to raise the size of our brush. And all I'm going to do is paint out this plinth so it's deselected from our mask. So I'm going to do that really quickly now. Now the important thing here is to make sure you stay within the lines exactly like you would in a coloring book. Make sure you don't go over or you're going to get some really wacky effect going on. So I'm going to do that really quickly right now and you can follow along. I'm just going to zoom in just to check on the robin's feet to make sure they're not selected either. As you can see they are slightly selected so I'm going to press lower the size of our brush. You can do this using this slider up here or you can use your brackets on your keyboard. And all we're going to do is unpaint the red from his feet so they're not mass selected. So let's do that quickly. And there we go, control minus to zoom out. Now what we've done, we've only got the back selected, which is absolutely fantastic now, because now we can adjust the backs, uh, background of our photo without adjusting the subject or the plinth there. So press O on your keyboard, and that will hide our mask, just like so. Now we get to adjust this in our mask uh, tab here. So all I'm gonna do is lower the saturation all the way down, to minus 100. That means our background's gone black and white, but our robin and plinth remains full color. Now, the important thing here is if you do this technique, it's not to go mad with adjusting the background. For example, you can whack up the exposure and you can whack the contrast up, or you can lower the exposure, make it really dark, and it really does look so artificial. What happens is it doesn't look natural because the lighting doesn't uh, look right if it's hitting the subject something different to what it's hitting in the background so be very careful here that you don't overdo it try to think about the light and how it's hitting your subject and how it's hitting the background now one of the good things is we can lower the texture in the background and lower the clarity it just makes it a little bit softer for example we've got a higher aperture than what we actually took the photo with and it's not going to affect the way the lighting looks. That looks absolutely excellent. So what we do then is come down here to close on that tab and already if we press Y on our keyboard we can look at the before and after. So there's our before. As you can see the background is full colour as well and it kind of the robin gets lost in that background. But there's our after just with a very few basic steps and masking we've now made that robin really pop. But we're going to even improve it even more now by doing a bit of tone curve work and HSL work. So press Y again on your keyboard and then we'll jump onto the tone curve. Now we go to our tone curve and all I like to do is go down to the highlights, lights, darks and shadows and I move each slider individually. One way will enhance the photo and one way in the opposite way will degrade the photo I find. So all I'm going to do is raise or lower it. I'm just looking at the whole image, seeing which way it goes. Does it degrade it? And here I can see if I go to the left, it degrades the image. The robin gets blended into the background. If I raise it just very slightly, it pulls the bit of highlight out on its chest. And that's what I really like. I'm going to go to plus eight on the highlights. Remember, again, you don't have to overdo it. Next, we go to the lights. And again, we're going to look to see which way works the best. And again, raising it works here in this case. Now, sometimes lowering it will work. 
and that's completely fine. It's personal preference at the end of the day. Go with what you feel is right. So I'm just going to raise this very slightly. Now again, don't overdo it. If you raise these up too much, you begin to lose detail in your subject. So go very gently with them and just, you don't have to overdo it. In fact, you don't have to use them at all. If you're happy with where it's at, don't feel because you've got these tools in Lightroom that you have to adjust them. So in this case, I'm just going to go to plus three on the lights. Now the darks and shadow, this is obviously going to affect the dark areas in our image and our shadows. So let's have a little go with these. I'm just going to move it ever so slightly here to about minus four. That looks perfect. Now the shadows. We're just getting a little bit of detail coming through on the feathers when we lower them shadows. Now again, I don't want to overdo it here, so I'm just going to go to about minus 14. And in my opinion, that looks fantastic. Close the tone curve. Next, we go into the HSL tab. So the HSL tab stands for Hue, Saturation and Luminance. And basically, you get to change the hue, the saturation, and the luminance of individual colors in your photo using this tab. Uh, for example, let's take this orange here. If we go to the hue and we go to the orange, we can either lower it one way, making it more yellow, or we increase it, making it more red. So let me show you. We raise it, we make his breast go uh, red, and if we go the other way, we make it go kind of yellowy, greeny color. Double click to reset them. So what I normally do, I start off with saturation. And I'm gonna, in this case, I'm gonna to go to this little pinpoint here in the left hand corner. And I'm gonna to go to uh, the Robin Redbreast chest. And I'm just gonna left click on my mouse and begin to raise it up to add a little bit of saturation onto his chest there like that. That really brings out that color there. Next I go to luminance. I'm gonna do exactly the same click this little pinpointer here. I'm gonna left click my mouse and hold it down, and raise it up or lower it down to adjust the settings on his uh, that color there in our photo. As you can see, we can brighten it or darken it in our luminance tab. I'm just gonna raise it ever so slightly. I don't wanna overdo it again. Remember, I don't wanna make it look over-processed. And finally, the hue. And all we're gonna do again, go to the pinpointer, Raise it up or lower it just to bring out in colors. That's a matter of personal choice here. Remember, go with what you feel is right. And that one really looks quite good there. That looks fantastic. And that's the HSL tab done. Now I want to do the same down here on the plinth. But the way I'm going to do this is slightly different. I'm going to go select a mask again. And I'm going to click the plus. And what I'm going to do is do the brush again. As you can see, let's raise it up. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to set the flow to 50, the density to 50, and I'm going to try to bring out the saturation levels of the greens in this plinth here by using that, our saturation levels in the panel here. So I'm going to raise the saturation to about plus 50. We can always adjust it afterwards. I'm just going to paint in where I want that saturation to come through. Now, if you press O on your keyboard, you can see where you're painting. And you can see, because we've adjusted that flow, we're not overdoing it here. We're just slightly bringing out them colors. And I'm gonna press O again to remove the mask as I just paint over this plinth, just to see if it improves. I want them colors to really pop a little bit on this plinth. Press O again to see where we've painted. I don't want to touch the robin here. I'm really happy with the results that we've got on the robin at the minute. So we're just going to do that. A little bit more over there. Now we can go back up here to the flow and density and we can increase the flow and density. He says and carry on painting over if we want, if we feel like. And what that's gonna do is increase the amount of saturation it has on that particular part of the photo. So press O again to remove our uh, mask painting, the red over highlight. And you can see there that that looks absolutely fantastic now. So in this particular image, 
it's looking absolutely wicked let's close down that now we've brought out the greens and blues in our plinth the robin's looking excellent our background's nice and black and white now and it looks absolutely fantastic now, there's only one thing left to do i'm going to go to the effects panel i'm just going to add a little bit of vignette in just to pull you into the photo now if you go left on the vignette you get a dark vignette around the outside if you move it to the right you get a white one now in this particular case i'm going to lower it because our image is gray and black and white kind of light i'm just going to lower it into the dark to get, give it a little bit of uh vignette now our midpoint round is some feather these are just personal cho choices and all you do is mess around with it till you feel it's right just like that so there we go that's the finished article let's have a look at it press y on your keyboard there's the before there's the after let's have a look at them full size here's the before and here's the after so there you go i hope you really got something from this video if you did give it a big thumbs up down there somewhere if you want to see more content similar to this find that subscribe button that youtube have now hidden if you enjoy camera equipment of any type uh, that's all my channel's about i do camera lens reviews and go out with my camera so if you want to subscribe make sure you do but that's it for this video we'll catch you in the next one thank you so so much for watching see you soon guys